My advice for young people looking for a job. Quick disclaimer, if you already know what you want to do for a living and you are absolutely passionate about it, scroll up. I don't want to waste your time. But for most of us, we don't know what our true passion is and we need a job to hold us over. If that's you, I want you to think about how much time and energy you're going to put into getting a job and how much you're going to get out of it. We're going to use pharmacy as an example. The average pharmacist makes $133,000 a year. Many of you would say, oh, that's awesome, but let's think about what goes into it. To get into pharmacy school, you'll need a bachelor's degree. That's four years of undergrad and the typical debt is $32,000. Then you'll need another four years in pharmacy school. And when you get out, you'll be $168,000 in debt. And if you want to work in a hospital, you'll most likely need to do a residency. That's where you get a third of a pay of a regular pharmacist. But you are worked really hard. Expect 50 hours per week. Your typical Walgreens and CVS doesn't have such a program yet. But my guess is they're trying to invent something similar so they can cut down on costs. Okay, so so far you invested 9 years of your life and you're $200,000 in debt. Let's take a look at the job market. When I got into the profession, there were 8 pharmacy schools in California alone. Now there are 13 and there are more playing to open. That means by the time you graduate, there's going to be a larger pool of applicants to compete against. And this is just my observation, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of jobs out there. You'd be lucky to work full time. And the last thing I want to talk about is Amazon. Amazon is now in the pharmacy industry. And with their technological know-how, they will be able to automate more of the workflow and squeeze out even more employees. So again, you've invested 9 years of your life, you're $200,000 in debt, and you'll be competing with even more job applicants for limited job spaces. Is it still worth the $133,000 per year? Also keep in mind, it might not even be $133K per year. With so many applicants, many may take a pay cut just to have a job. And that would bring the median salary down. Those are my thoughts. Is it still worth it to you? Also, do you agree or disagree with anything I said? Leave it in the comments and thank you for watching.